Yeah, it's on now. Tonight's first question will be asked by Alyssa, a member of the Juan Diego Catholic High School State Championship debate team, as well as the captain of its student congress team. Uh, thank you. This past year, thousands of students across the country have been debating the government's role in exploration and development of space. One of the topics included gave consideration to the military development beyond the Earth's mesosphere. According to Everett Dolman, a PhD and professor of comparative military studies at the U.S. Air Force School of Advanced Air and Space Studies, space control is not only tactically advantageous on the battlefield, it is strategically so in diplomacy. The entity in control of space has real-time presence and persistence over the globe. What is your position on American space weaponization and what benefits could it have? Thank you. We'll start with Senator Hatch, having Dan just have gone first. Well, I can tell you this. Jake Garn and I both, both speak very strongly about having our own space weapon program in, in outer space. However, this president is not behind that. In fact, I think he's ruining the space program and drawing down an awful lot of things that we, uh, we used to take advantage of. And for every dollar you spend in space, you get six or seven dollars back in benefits and, uh, and new, new, uh, new inventions. Fact of the matter is, is that I believe that this administration is undermining our space program. I can tell you right now, other nations are doing differently. And we've just got to be very, very careful. I do not want the Russians to have to take our astronauts into space. Uh, I think there's actually two questions then. There's one about weaponization and one about space control. I think it is absolutely appalling that we uh, have to rely on the Russians to get a man into space. Uh, and unfortunately, a significant reason for that is because we haven't controlled our national debt. Our national debt has become our net greatest national security threat. Having spent uh, three years of my life in the former Soviet Union, I can tell you uh, that I am concerned that we have to rely on the Russians. Uh, Russians, uh, even though my wife is a Russian, I can tell you that the Russians don't have our best interest at heart. And so it's, I think it's absolutely important that we regain dominance in space exploration. Because you look at the benefits that come from that, the amount of uh, spin-offs that come from that, uh, and there is a significant military uh, value to that. And so we need to make sure that that becomes a top priority. But we have to do that by controlling our national debt. Thank you. One of the fundamental roles of our federal government is defense. And you cannot defend a world and defend our interests across the world without having a strong space program. I was up in Brigham City last night, working with, talking with people who that town has been devastated by the shutdown of ATK. It's one of our key advantages, building the booster rockets to get us into space. We have given up on that program or started, stopped funding that program because there are areas of this federal budget that have exploded over our lifetimes. Areas we've known for 40 years we needed to fix. Should not be a surprise to us that spending on entitlement programs, the 185 different federal welfare programs, squeeze everything else out. So I look in the eyes of the people up there last night. I'm running to change the direction of spending in Washington so we can stay in space and protect our country. I'm just going to ask the candidates if you would like to have a 45-second rebuttal, just make it known, and I'll be happy to, to call on you. Senator Hatch? I don't need, I don't need a 45-minute rebuttal, but I'm the one who put the language in the, in the uh, legislation that basically requires solid rocket motor, uh, motors to take us into space and to do the work that we need to do, especially for all that ATK does. So that alone has helped to protect ATK and, of course, is an advantage to our state, but I was the one who put the language in.